quickly cut across to Shanakia Rasamanikam, who is a Sri Lankan MP, joining us live here on India Today to give us an understanding of the situation that prevails. Shanakia, thank you very much for speaking to us and making time out in, in a situation like this. How would you receive this? And in your view, what's the quick solution? We can't see your country burning like this. I'm sure you can't see it either. What's the quick, immediate, urgent solution that is needed at this point? Well, uh, thank you for having me. Urgency and also curfew in the Western province. And as soon as he, it was announced, uh, the legal uh, framework in Sri Lanka said that it was illegal because the president is the only one who can declare emergency. And then yeah. within a few uh, hours, we see the speaker announcing that the president has appointed the uh, prime minister as the acting uh, president only because he's uh, overseas, so he's not in the country. So therefore, uh, the president uh, has not resigned yet. And on the 9th of uh, July, uh, when the, uh, uh, the new wave of protest started and the, the, the protesters took over the president's office and his uh, uh, official residence, the president promised that he will resign on the uh, 13th of uh, July, which is today. And it's yeah, he's not lived up to that. We've, we've, seen, we've, seen, we've seen uh, protests as he's fled the country. And that's, that's our latest update. We, we see that that he's literally left the country in doldrums. At this point, he's managed to run away with his wife and a few of his guards to Maldives. Uh, uh, what, what exactly is the solution at this point? Now that he's run away, yeah, I is was there trying a way... to tell you the solution, but then you interrupted me. So let, if you need the solution, you need to let me provide the solution. So the solution right now is that the prime minister needs to resign because the protesters are not going to stop uh, the protest till the prime minister and the president both resign. And uh, if both of them resign, then the, acting, the, uh, the speaker will become the acting president and thereby the parliament can appoint a person who has the confidence of the public in Sri Lanka as the next president. Mm. And uh, the, even though the ruling party has majority in parliament, they need to allow for a minority government uh, in uh, parliament because in the past it has been done. But the protesters are not going to stand down. And since the prime minister has been appointed, we see more military uh, presence in Colombo. So we urge the international community to intervene right now, like you uh, mentioned earlier. India has uh, assisted Sri Lanka financially over the last few months to get essential supplies. But right now, it's important that countries like India, America, United Kingdom and uh, the European Union speak to Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe and urge him to step down because uh, the international community should stand by the people of Sri Lanka. There are 22 million people in Sri Lanka who are yeah. who need the support of the international community You know, right now. Shanakya, as we spoke a little earlier to some of uh, uh, Gotabaya Rajapaksa's aide, possibly uh, those who are leading towards his party, have said that the resignation most definitely stands. He has left the country citing a threat to life as we see protesters clearly trying to barge into the uh, Prime Minister and the President's offices. So he's, he's fled out of desperation. This, this is what uh, some of his uh, people have said. The resignation, yeah, he, though, most he, definitely stays. He has fled the country and he has failed to resign. So mm -hmm. we need to see his resignation. And we, if he doesn't resign and the Prime Minister don't resign, we need the international community to intervene. This is uh, this what, what we need done because if you look at 2009, towards the last stage of the war, uh, when thousands of Tamil people were killed, uh, you know, the international community didn't intervene and then we had a major catastrophe in the country. Mm. And right now, I'm sure India doesn't want its neighbor to be so unstable because if anybody believes that the protesters are going to stand down uh, just because there's curf the Prime Minister announces curfew or Prime Minister uses the military to, uh, to uh, instill fear in the public, that's not going to happen. The public are going to protest. And they will continue the protest till they see resignation letters of both President Rajapaksha and Prime Minister Vikramasinghe because the country will not accept Prime Minister Vikramasinghe even for a minute as the president of this country because they are all responsible for this crisis. Mm. On the 9th of May, when President was uh, asked to resign uh, and the former Prime Minister resigned, Ranil Vikramasinghe stepped in to save President Rajapaksha and his family. So how can we trust the same person to take the country out of this crisis when he's uh, very much uh, part of uh, the Rajapaksha government? You know, uh, Shanakia, thank you very much. We understand uh, that, that the situation right now is dire and people are refusing to budge.